Ryan of Ryan's Toy Review, a seemingly average six-year-old boy. Adored by millions of rabid children and parents alike, is he just an overprivileged kid with genius entrepreneur parents, or is he just a political pawn controlled by two criminally insane masterminds? Find out today on WZDA News! Born Ryan Young Jafar Bin Laden and the second born among identical twins on October 6, 2010 to his loving parents Julia Chain Bin Laden and Osama Hitler Bin Laden in Bakersfield, California. Ryan learned at a very young age that in order to survive in this harsh world, he was going to have to work for his mills. Ryan's father was a male prostitute and occasional lead vocalist for the Bakersfield band Edema. His mother worked roadside selling fruit, but reports from the Bakersfield Police Department show that she also secretly sold meth, deeply compacted in her rectal cavity, which she extracted using a piece of PVC piping. And according to at least one report, if you asked her for half a dozen California oranges, she'd give you four ounces of crystal meth. Ryan was born into a hard life and forced to build Intel computers in a local sweatshop alongside his twin brother Brian until the age of four when one night in the break room he caught a glimpse of a toy review video his supervisor was watching on YouTube. He asked his supervisor Vatsana Chow if she thought that the unnamed kid in the video, whom we'll refer to as Patient Zero, made a lot of money. She responded by squeezing lemon juice into Ryan's eye before ripping out one of his baby teeth and forcing it down his throat. But deep inside Ryan, a sense of longing began to form. When he got home at the wee hour of 4 a.m., he took his father's GoPro camera and began to play in the laundry room with a lint ball and some dryer sheets. Ryan states that he recalls <laughs> pretending that they were toys and that he too was a YouTube star. Suddenly, his mother busted in and hit him with a frying pan, mistaking him for her ex-lover, Smokey. However, realizing her mistake, she prepared him an open grave. However, Ryan was only dazed, having been born with thick skin, which is more than I can say for 90% of the commenters below. He explained his dream and asked if his mother would invest in the YouTube channel project. His mother hated the idea of fun and spending money but she also saw an opportunity for success and wealth. She had one constructive criticism to give Ryan though. Before agreeing to invest in this project, she told him, Drop the GoPro, kid! What do you think you're trying to film? Surfing like some California quack? You queef? Step one, go fuck yourself. And when you get back from chicken shit lane, get yourself one of them handy cams like in Cloverfield, bitch! Ryan did not speak jive. However, Ryan did just that, and in under just three months, he made over six million dollars and became one of the top three YouTubers of all time. At the age of six, he had finally achieved the American dream of being talentless, super famous and rich for absolutely no reason other than entertaining fetal brains. Next time on When Zombie Dogs Attack, Behind the Bite. We find out what happened to Ryan's twin brother, Brian, and then we tackle Ryan's budding heroin and coding addiction.